Tuesday and welcome to the Axiom Medical COVID-19 Vaccine Facts versus Fiction live stream that we're hosting today. Just a quick background. My name is Holly Foxworth um, and I am one of the registered nurses. I'm also the, the marketing manager for content here at Axiom in case you've stumbled upon our feed or you're new and you're not familiar with who we are. But as always, I do have a brilliant team, um, the best minds in medicine and communication, both that are going to be joining our panel today. We have uh, Dr. Scott Cherry, who's our chief medical officer. We also have Dr. Peter Matos. We have chief marketing officer, Dara Wheeler, and then also communications director, Autumn Brennan. So they're going to walk us through some of those most recent myths that have been floating around, um, whether that be on TV, on, on social, et cetera. And talk to us about this issue of the vaccines containing some type of microchip and whether that's actually being, um, that's being inserted whenever you're getting the vaccine. Absolutely. So in social media, I believe it started on Reddit, there was a, an image of a syringe with a tiny little microchip on it. And the, the little story behind it was about um, that this is what they're putting inside of you, when really that microchip was designed by Columbia University engineers and it was circling in connection with all of this. Um, and that it was attached somehow to the COVID-19 vaccine. And that microchip actually is still being tested on animals. It has nothing to do with vaccines whatsoever, but it was one image that just had a lot of mileage on it. And we know that it would take a very different um, implement to insert a microchip, not the cute little needles that they use to deliver the vaccine today. So it actually has nothing to do with vaccines at all. And it's not even for use in uh, human form right now. Yeah. So Dr. Mattis, was there anything that you wanted to add to that in terms of maybe kind of where some of this originated from or what what maybe that that, you know, we would want the employers to be able to to convey to employees that that would maybe be considering the vaccine, but had this type of concern? Yeah. So I think, you know, um, you can look at what the ingredients are in the vaccine. And I think um, there's no metal in the vaccine at all. And kind of going off of what we were talking about before with the magnet challenge, remember um, when we go and get an MRI, right? Our bodies already have some level of, you know, of, of metals in us, right? Elements. That's why you do an MRI, correct? And so I think if you think this through and rationalize this and get beyond the, you know, the, um, clickbait or, you know, whatever video they're trying to show you, you know, break it down. What are in these vaccines? What do we know about the human body already? And what do we know about the use of, you know, current technology like MRIs and those type of things? I think just before we started, we were talking and there was a video of someone that put a coin on their, on their arm and said, guess what? I didn't get the vaccine. So, you know, there's an example, right? So uh, try it when you're not vaccinated. It didn't work on my vaccinated arm or my unvaccinated arm. So um, it just depends, right, on what your nutrition is and what, you know, natural um, uh, metals you might be getting from the food you're eating. 